Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor uh, with the Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my YouTube station. I worked at IRS for 10 years. I'm a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I have a whole team of former IRS agents and tax attorneys and CPAs on staff. Um, I just want to let you know just a couple things. I used to accept offers and deny offers and compromise. Peter Salinger in my office as a former IRS agent, uh, a group supervisor of the offer and compromise group has reviewed over 3,500 offers and compromise. We are without doubt probably two of the nation's experts. I'm sure there's many more, but probably not as many good as us because we work for IRS, so we understand the process. This is just a very short video, and it's promotional, and I don't usually do this. But you know what pisses me off, and I'm telling you, is that people use these companies to get their offers and compromise because they're responding to ads. It's absolutely bizarre to me that people would pick a, pick a company and not a person. And this is what you need to know. You know, when you contact a company, you have no idea who's going to work your case. You have no idea. These national companies, you're speaking to a salesperson. The salesperson tells you whatever they want to pick up your money. And then the case goes back to the back office. Who the hell knows who's working your case? Your inventory gets shuffled and it gets changed. You have no idea who's working your case. Most people don't get to speak to the people. I'm telling you, if you want IRS real offer and compromise representation, you should not be picking a firm or a company. You should be picking a person out who knows how to do the work. Now, this isn't like, oh, pat me on the back. And I'm sure there's other former IRS agents that feel the same. But nobody, nobody is going to be able to get you the lowest settlement unless a former IRS agent knows what they're doing and can work the cases. First of all, let me tell you why. There's a time you file the offer and a time you don't. There's a time you don't take a case and a time you do take a case. There's a lot of factors to get the lowest offer. When you call me today, generally, I don't take your offer and compromise. I pick a point in the future of saying, this is when I want to file because I can get you the lowest settlement then. When you call me this day, many times there's things that don't allow me to get you the lowest settlement. I know offers and compromise. Peter Salinger on my team knows offers and compromise. Julie Patrick on my team knows offers and compromise. Ed knows offers and compromise. We know offers and compromise. Remember, make sure you have a valid offer. Make sure you Zoom with the person who's going to take your case. Make sure they've worked tons and tons of cases. And based on the information you give somebody, like myself, I can tell you whether your offer is going to get accepted as soon as I see your financial statement. It's just the truth. Use who you want. But if you want to get your offer through FAIR, if you want to make sure you have a chance for an offer, you should call our team. And I hate to do promotionals. It's just the truth. I get pissed off when people hire the wrong people and I get the calls. Give me a subscription. I told you the truth. Thank you.